everyone, John with Ride Upstate, and I'm back again reacting to another video, this time from Lyft. And it's a video that they put together. It's about four minutes long, and it's about food delivery versus ride share with Lyft. And this one's very interesting because it has the co-founder of Lyft doing the rides and doing the food delivery. So I'm going to put my headphones in, and then we're going to check it out. Hey, I'm John Zimmer, co-founder of Lyft, and we are comparing rideshare driving and delivery driving. Okay. I drive with Lyft every year, at least on New Year's. Coming from a hospitality background, I care deeply about the driver community. I want to make sure I do everything I can to understand as much as possible what it's like to drive on Lyft and what their alternatives are. Let's see how it goes. All right, I see. Okay, so again, I like this, just like in the last video. We actually have someone who is doing the driving themselves in order to understand the platform and how it's working. Now, I think what would be even nicer is if rather than doing, and, and you're going to see later on in this video, he's only doing about three or four rides and uh, two or three deliveries, I think. It'd be really nice if he went on a ride along all day long with a driver to really understand what it's like also in a different market than the one that he's in as well but nevertheless you know this is what we get and we'll see how the rest of this goes hey logan four minutes away i'm so nervous logan yeah. how are you where are you heading uh oakland airport all right let's do it after the vaccine any celebration just going out to dinner yeah is so great yeah the simplest things it's like learning how to how to be human again okay i have a problem with this now how to human again that's one of their themes that they had previously in some advertisements so that was very interesting but i have an issue with this okay because as a driver you're asking someone about medical information you wouldn't ask them what their BMI is, if they have diabetes, what medications they're taking. Why are you asking them if they have taken the vaccine? Because regardless of whether or not they've taken the vaccine, they are allowed to ride in the vehicle. So I really have a problem with this. I try and steer away from that kind of questioning. And if a rider asks me if I have had the vaccine, I just tell them that I don't share medical information. And because it's it's none of their business, right? It's none of their business. And like talk to each other. And, and it's none of my business if a writer has had their vaccine. I'm still trying to figure that out. Thank you. Okay, thanks so much. Take care. All right, five stars for Logan. We are a family of four. Can yeah. I help you? Yes, please. Thank you so much. I have a few daughters myself. Do you have a daughter and a son? Yep, exactly. Uh, of course, it's an Uber driver blocking me. <laughs> How old are the kids? Layla is six, and Ooh. Logan is one and a half. Logan again? The last passenger was Logan. No way. I've been trying to yeah. get some distance with Logan for a while. <laughs> it's been hard. All right, going to pick up. Not a passenger, but to pick up some Chinese food. Let's see how this goes. Oh, it says parking is available. On so I find this interesting because Lyft has recently moved into food delivery. So it'd be interesting to know when this video was made. Clearly it was made um, after the vaccine came out. So it must have been made sometime this year. But Lyft now offers food delivery. And so... I understand the comparison wanting to say, oh, look, here's here's the difference between driving and doing food delivery. But now you offer food delivery on your platform. So I, I don't really understand kind of where this is going. On the street, not necessarily the case. Let me see if I can find some parking. Oh, there's a spot. Oh, this guy took my spot. Oh. Thank you. Second pickup, Ethiopian. Gotta give you a workout. 
So I think this is a little overdone. Uh, I don't know what it's like in your market, but I usually don't have to uh, run. I don't I don't run when I'm doing food delivery, and even if I have to park a block away or something like that, it's usually not not this bad. But I, again, I get the point of the video, although I, I am a little confused with part of it because, of course, like I said, um, they do food delivery now. Very quiet in here. I miss my passengers from the ride here driving. The other thing I don't understand is why is he wearing a mask when he's driving by himself? I mean, what? I, I mean, I don't. I, I don't wear my mask when I'm driving by myself. I don't think most delivery drivers or even rideshare drivers are wearing a mask when they're driving by themselves. So I don't know. Is this? some kind of flex or something like that. Uh, I, I don't get it. And right now, it's just me talking to a camera. Crickets. Also, he hey, doesn't bro. have a hot bag. I see, hello. Thank How are you. you guys? Have a good day. Have a good day, take care. I did, it's saying leave at the door. I handed it to her. All right, two trips complete, $11.69. So there's a little note down here. I'm going to look over here. $2.41 in total earnings after Prop 22 earnings guarantee bonus and tip were later applied. I'm glad that they show that, but again, um, it's it's not an accurate representation. It was Uber Eats. We don't know how many miles it was. We don't know any details about the about the trips. So we're missing some information as a driver. That's what I got. How are you? I'm great. I just got a massage. Nice. Yeah. You got the massage. You got the lift ride. <laughs> are you a Lyft fan? Yeah. Yeah. What do you What do you like about Lyft? I like the color. <laughs> you like pink? Yeah, clearly. I love pink. So, what is it like to be a driver post pandemic? It's very busy. Drivers are earning a lot right now. Like right. depending on the city. 35 to 40 dollars in the top cities uh an hour the second kind of i tip you know drop someone off there's like another request because it's so busy okay next app gonna try another delivery app man i am extremely hungry right now so i i am mostly doing scheduled pickups right now with lyft that is actually one of the things that i really like about lyft is i can look at scheduled pickups and decide if I want to take them, whether it's around my lunchtime or in the evening or in the morning. And I wish that was something that Uber had because it's it's nice for me to know that I can pick someone up. So last night I did, I did a scheduled ride. I took some folks to a hotel on my way down there before I even got there. I did get a pickup. However, it was a, it would have been a long pickup. And in my market, and I don't know if this is true in all markets, but in my market, Lyft does not offer a long distance pickup fee. So drivers in my market in upstate New York are driving all over the place. They're they're making long trips unless they're actually in a large city. Now that's going to change in about three or four weeks as the summer vacationers show up, especially in my town. But for now, it's been it's been pretty busy. It's 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 constant and consistent, but long pickups. Pick up for Malik. Thanks a lot. Have a good day. Thank you. Oh, that smell is extremely strong. This is torturous. This makes me wonder how many people take a bite or like take one wing. I will miss this pizza. I've never done that. I got but seven dollars. First of all, if you're food, if you deliver food, you know that it is very tempting to eat the food, especially when it's a nice smelling food. I've never done it. I never will. Another thing is you got to make sure you bring food and drinks with you because you're just going to go nuts if you don't. So here's the earnings: thirty thirty one total. So Bay Area, California, and again, it does not ref. We don't talk about time. So that's tips and prop 22 bonus on the food delivery apps. And let's see what he gets from doing driving. 
and on lift, driving. Turned a little bit more. All right, so 42.85 again, doing um, doing driving. Now, here's something that's going to show up, and, and and you'll see why I'm a little suspicious of this. First of all, one, two trips involve the airport, which always have a premium. But but here's another thing that I think probably contributed to this. I'm actually the co-founder of Lyft. Are you, there are it you is. joking? No. Are you No, I'm not Oh my god, you don't even know I'm, I'm turning pink. <laughs> <laughs> Congrats, felicitaciones. Gracias. <laughs> oh my god. Do you want to be on TV? Yeah. <laughs> All right, then, then we'll make it happen. Okay, so a lot of questions about some of the situation. I wonder if those people got their rides refunded or if they did have to pay. And like I said, you know, oh, the co-owner of Lyft uh, probably got um, probably got a tip that a normal driver wouldn't have gotten, right? And the other thing, like I said, two airport trips, which always cost more. So you had kind of two premium trips. We don't know the amount of time that was involved. Um, clearly based on whatever the, uh, minimum earnings is supposed to be. I, I don't know what the guaranteed earnings are in California, but as you can see, it was supplemented. So this isn't what a driver would be making in another market. It's what a driver in California under Prop 22 that gets their income supple supplemented is earning. So... Again, I think it's a little bit misleading. Um, you know, John, come to upstate New York. Okay, I would be glad to host you. You can drive around in my car. You can rent a car, whatever. Come to upstate New York and see if you can earn that same amount um, out in Utica or in some place like uh, Glens Falls or something like that. It, it makes a difference where you are. And without those kind of benefits, um, it is it is a lot more difficult. I can earn more hourly delivering food than I can delivering people. So anyway, my name is John from Ride Upstate. I hope that you enjoyed this video. If you like these reaction videos, um, hit me up in the comments below and let me know what other videos you'd like me to react to. I really don't want to get into reacting too much to other YouTubers. But if there are press conferences or something like that that you see regarding food delivery around the industry, I would love to react to that. So until next time, remember that just because you're in a small market it doesn't mean you need to settle for small profits. Bye.